Hello and welcome to part 2 of this uh, video tutorial series about how to create 2D manga eyes in Blender. So in the previous part we created uh, these, um, these eyes, we, know we modeled the basic shapes and we didn't add yet the, uh, the pupil inside the eyes. So uh, we are going to add the pupil in this second part. There are many different ways you can can do it. Some I've seen some artists uh, who use the texturing approach, and uh, I don't really like this option. Uh, you, I prefer to use a separate object for the pupil. So my approach is, we create a, an object, and we project it on the surface of the white part of the eye there are the, the main benefit is there are two two advantages first you can just use uh, you can just move the pupil the way you move any other object in blender which is very easy just right click and grab with g and it will always will make sure that it always remains inside the eye and uh, secondly uh, because we we are going to make sure it stays within the eye, you don't have to worry about the shape of the, your eye or um, UV unwrapping or anything texture related. You just move the pupil and it will always look right. Okay, so let's do it now. So I save my file. We'll add a new plane and this will be our left pupil. I move it above just a bit above the eye and I will call it pupil left yeah I know it's on the right but it's for the left eye of our character okay I will add a subdivision surface modifier three should be enough and um, add a shrink wrap modifier so this this will this is the modifier that will make sure our eye our pupil stays within the limit of the eye so we are saying that uh, it should project on the left eye so see already it's it's projecting but these ugly artifacts are due to the uh, z ordering fighting so we just we're going to say keep above surface so that the pupil do not, doesn't touch the, the eye and set the distance to something small like 0 0.05 okay so the first thing to notice is how great this modifier is because as you can see I'm moving the pupil and it stays within the eye there is something or however ugly it's uh, it also it, it projects on the eyelash, which doesn't make any which doesn't make any sense. So the easy solution against that is to separate the uh, white part and make it another object. Okay, so we are going to call this new object I left. Uh, let's call it I white left or something like that. And now we're going to tell the uh, the pupil to project on this I white left. And now we have a pupil that always remains in the eye. Okay, so because I uh, separated this the eye in two parts, the other part didn't follow. So we have to fix that and we also have to create the pupil for the right eye so let's do it now I will just using alt D just like in the first tutorial I move it along the x-axis and uh, it looks already scaled no scale it uh, uh, along my x minus 1 to mirror mirror it around the the y-axis 
Okay. And also do the same. Oh, let's name it correctly. Okay. And uh, duplicate this pupil using Alt D and put it above right here. So here is our object. We can see the center here, but it, uh, it, it disappeared. It, it's because it's projected on the wrong eye. You know? This pupil now should be projected on the right eye. So going to its modifier, change the object onto which it does, it is projected to the right eye. Okay, so right pupil on right eye, left pupil on the left eye. Good, that looks, that looks better than, than before. Um, we have to fix the material here. There is a shading happening. Okay, so let's go to the material options and give it the correct material. Okay. So we are going to shape the pupil in in edit mode. Okay. So th there is something you should be careful now is that when you are moving the pupil, move it move it in object mode and not in uh, edit mode. You in edit, in, edit, uh, in edit mode. If you move it, uh, then the center is uh, not right at the uh, at the center of the pupil. The center of the object will not be the center of the mesh. So it's better if you keep the center and of the mesh and the object the same. But for scaling, as long as you scale around the center, like we're doing now, it's okay. So make the manga eyes are usually uh, higher than, uh, uh, taller than, uh, than wide than their width, sorry. And you should scale it until it touches the bottom. Uh, the bottom of the, of the eye, like this. Okay. So depending on the character uh, you are trying to portray, some eyes like this one look like, um, they look more like big cute eyes for uh, naive or cute or childish characters and uh, for you know bad characters or evil characters or, or men or boys many many not may, maybe not boys but men they usually have uh, wider eyes and or thinner also but for women we like them to have cute eyes, so make the pupil pretty big. Okay, maybe we should move them just a bit like that. And a bit, okay. Okay, and here we are. So this second part was about creating the pupil each, I mean both pupil, so that they always remain within the eye. In the next part, I will show you how to um, texture them so that uh, they are not completely black.